So I just finished making myself some lunch out here in the woods and I thought I'd share with you the cook set that I used to make it. So this is the Fire Maple Frost Ultralight Anodized Aluminum Cook Set. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, keep watching. All right, so just before we get started, I wanna thank Fire Maple for sending out their Frost Ultralight Anodized Aluminum Cook Set so that I could share it with you. So this is the second item in Fire Maple's Frost lineup of Ultralight items. I've reviewed this previously. This is their Frost kettle. I will put a link to this review on the end of this video if you're interested. Great, very, very lightweight and still quite versatile little pot kettle, whatever you want to call it. All right, so what I thought I would do is I would just bring the camera down, very quickly show you the different components that come with this uh, cook set. I'm not going to give you a lot of specifications. I think the weight is probably what you're most interested in because what I'll do is I'll put all the specifications for each of the items in the video description if you have more interest. All right, let's get started. All right, let's see how my lunch is doing. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks good, right? Yeah, that's nice. All right, I'll take that off and get set up to do my single egg to go with this. All right, I think I'd say this egg is pretty close to, whoop, pretty close to flip ready. Oh yeah, nice job. Almost blew it, but there we go. All right, we'll finish that up and I'll enjoy my lunch. All right, so this is the entire cook set that was inside of that stuff sack. So everything here, all told, comes in at just over 12 ounces. Now, rather than give you the weights and the sizes of and everything up for each individual component, I'll put that in the video description where you can take a look at it if you have an interest in it. So let me share with you what it comes with. So these are a set of pot grabbers, which I'll show you in a minute because they do have an innovation on them I have not seen on other sets. So this is the eating dish, but it does also serve as a lid for either the pan or the pot. This is the fry pan or skillet, and this is the pot. Now I just wanna grab the pot grabbers to show you that innovation I mentioned a minute ago. So yeah, it is works as a pot grabber for the pan or the pot like this, but here's the innovation. It's spring-loaded. So what's the advantage of having a spring-loaded set of pot grabbers? Well, look at the end of it. It's also a set of tongs. So now you can use it for turning things over in your pan if you want to. But here's what I found it does really, really well. So if I get the lid, or in this case, the di eating dish, and use it as a lid, the one downside is there's no way of getting it off easily. Now, yes, if you had a set of leather gloves or something, you could grab it off, with, off of the heat very quickly. But I found that this is where this comes in quite handy. If I push it to the side even a little bit, then I can use the tongs for lifting it off. So I think that works out quite well. Nice little innovation there. All right, let's just talk about the material that this is made from. So yes, it is made from aluminum. And before you turn me off, just hear me out because I think this is plenty safe for anybody that is concerned about cooking with aluminum. To start with, it is anodized on the outside. Now, frost refers to, or fire maple, sorry, refers to their frost line as soft anodized. So that's the reason why it has this color, this frost color, hence the name, of course and it is soft anodized. I'll speak more to that in a minute. And the inside is Teflon coated. So you are protected from reaching down to the bare aluminum while you're cooking. Now, some people don't like cooking with Teflon as well. I understand that. But this is PFOA free Teflon. So it is safe to use. Now, there's, I still do have some precautions about using this set. And that would be, it should be used only over alcohol or a gas stove and not over open flame. The reason being is you can't control the heat of open flame on a wood stove as well as you can with a gas and alcohol stove. And this type of cookware should not be exposed to heat above 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you stay below that, then it's okay. It's very, very safe to use. I'll put links to where I did some research into the safety of cooking with aluminum, especially anodized aluminum and coated aluminum in the video description if you wanna look at that a little bit further. And, you know, when you think about it, this really is made for ultralight use. I'm not sure you would take out a wood stove for use with this at all. It just matches so well with a gas stove that, it that you know, that's the ideal combination in my mind. Okay, now, that's the basic uh, things that I want to say about it, but there is some cautions that I want to mention as well. So let me just grab the dish and the pan. So there is uh, a couple of downsides to this soft anodized aluminum that I want to point out. Number one, 
it bends easy. You can see it's thin enough that that's just grabbing it with the pot grippers. So it does bend a little bit, not a big deal. I, when it bent, I was able to just kind of, and you can probably see it going back into shape now, just from pushing on it with my thumb. That's not great, but it's not the end of the world. It's not a deal breaker as well. And the other thing is, is I washed this and I used it and, uh, or when I used it and washed it, I actually put it through the washing machine at home. I don't know if that was a good idea. I don't know if you can see the discoloration on the anodizing on the outside and it won't come off. It's like gone cloudy. So I don't know if that's damage to the anodization or just where it was exposed to the extreme hot water that was in the dishwasher. Again, not a deal breaker, just something to be aware of. So if you do run these through your dishwasher at home and it comes out and you look at it and say, how did that happen? But here's the third thing. This I'm a little bit concerned with. I clean these out here in the woods and at home with one of those soft scrubby materials, the, you know, the nylon scrubby pads. I'm hoping that shows up. Can you see the scratches that have occurred on the bottom of the pan? And same thing on the interior. Yeah, it's shown up better there on the interior. That's the soft anodization reacting to being uh, scrubbed with that little nylon. That really shouldn't happen, all right? So I don't know if I wanna consider that a deal breaker, but boy, I would love it if Fire Maple could do something to remedy that and make it just a little bit more durable, maybe hard anodized. I think you would still have all the same versatility and just a little bit more durability if it was hard anodized rather than soft anodized. All right, that's everything I have to show you on the Fire Maple Frost Ultralight Aluminum Anodized Aluminum Cook Kit. Let's wrap this video up. All right, a few closing comments on Fire Maple's uh, Frost Ultralight Anodized Aluminum Cook Set. It's a great little cook set. It's very lightweight. It is just the right size. You get a pot, you get a pan, you get an eating dish, and you get that unique pot grabber slash tongs. It's okay. It works very well. I combine it with a stove, or I should say a gas stove, and uh, not with a wood stove, and it's very light and easy to use. It's effective in terms of being nonstick. Now, I've been using it for a little while, and I'm very cautious about what implements I use in it. I use nylon or wood, but I won't use metal because for fear of scratching the Teflon, I keep the heat reasonable. I have nothing sticking to it. It's just worked very well that way. However, not all is great with it. I am concerned about that soft anodized finish on it. Now, while it hasn't done that scratching on the little kettle and pot uh, combination that I have, it does so on the pan. Maybe it's because I'm cleaning it with one of those little nylon scrubbies. I wouldn't think nylon would scratch the anodization, but it is, unfortunately. So uh, I just want to put that out there. I won't call this a fail on their part, but I will say this is something you need to be aware of. I would really like if Fire Maple would rebrand and come up with a hard anodized version of this, and I think it would be so much better as a result. I know I'd be buying one because other than, other than the anodization, the soft anodization, it's a great little cook kit. Okay, so if you have any comments or any questions on this item, put those in the comments section below. I'll put the links as well as the specifications in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path left travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.